Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was considered the greatest Bangali in the millennium. He led the struggle for the protection of Bangali rights, the participation movement of India, the language movement, and later the struggle for the establishment of Bangladesh from East Pakistan. He was born on March 17, 1920 in Tungipara village of Faitpur district in Bangladesh. He was very kind from his childhood. A neighbor said about him that in his childhood he should do charity without anyone knowing. One day, in his father's absence, he called many poor people together in his house and shared his father's bowl full of rice, though his father was happy knowing afterwards. In 1939, Chief Minister of Undivided Bengal, Shere Bangla A.K. Fazlul Haq and Hossein Sahid Sarawaddi visited Gopalgan Missionary School. Sheikh Mazib Rahman raised the demand for reform the school. In his strong behavior, Shere Bangla saw the reflection of future leadership in Museum. He took him with Nikhil Bharat Muslim Student Federation. This is how the political life of Sheikh Mujib began. In 1943, famine started all over India. About 500,000 people died. Then Sheikh Mujib Rahman participated in food distribution with Sahid Sarawad. On February 14, 1922, Sheikh Mujib Rahman started a hunger strike inside the jail. He established Bangla as our mother tongue. And February 21st, a student violated Article 144 and took out much demanding Bengali as the next national language. Salam Barkat, Rafiq Shafiq Jabbar was martyred when the police opened fire on this procession. Bangabandhu condemned this incident from jail and made a statement on February 27. Later, Bangla was given recognition as the state language of East Bengal. In 1954 election, Sheikh Mujib Rahman owned Gopal Gawsi. He was given to the responsibility for the Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry. After the date of Hossein Said Sarawadi in 1963, he was appointed as the General Secretary of Army. On February 5, 1966, Sheikh Mujib Rahman presented his historic six point demand at the opposition conference in Lahore, which outlined the East Pakistan's autonomy. On March 1, 1966, Sheikh Mujib Rahman was elected as the president of Amali. Bangabandhu kept on jail almost one fourth of his lifetime inside the jail. He started writing his biography and political activities, which was published as a book of Ashwamapta Akhtujibani later. Under the leadership of Bangabandhu, Amali won an absolute majority in 1970 election. Aumilik League won 167 out of 169 National Assembly seats in East Pakistan. Amid the political turmoil, Yahya Khan was delaying calling the parliament. In these circumstances, on 7 March 1971, in public meeting at the Reskos Maidan, Bangabandhu called for independence and prepared the people for the ultimate non-cooperation movement against Pakistan. His speech mesmerized a nation into almost a bare-handed combat against well-established forces. His speech of 7 March is recognized on all of the best speech in the world by UNESCO in 2017. To quell this violent movement, Pakistani soldiers jumped into the innocent people in the dark night on March 25, 1971. Operation Searchlight began the massacre. In the early hours of March 26, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman wirelessly sent the direction of independence of Bangladesh to Johir Ahmed Chadri of Chittagong. The declaration of independence of Bangabandhu was broadcasted by Army League leader Mr. Hannan from Chittagong, Bihar. This declaration of independence started a spontaneous resistance by calling him a hero. The glorious chapter of liberation war began. Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was arrested from his home in the early hours of March 26 and taken to the West Pakistan to declare the independence of Bangladesh. After nine months of war, Bangladesh gained independence on December 16, 1971 for the honor of three million peoples and three million mothers and sisters. He returned to Bangladesh on January 10, 1972 via India from London. Bangabandhu was taken an unforgettable public reception. 
at the Rishkosh Mahajan where Bangabandhu had called for independence. Bangabandhu became the Prime Minister and later the President of Bangladesh. In 1973, he released a five years plan focusing on state investment in agriculture, rural infrastructure and cottage industries. He had a hard time with severe poverty, unemployment and above anarchy as well as rampant corruption. In 1974, Bangabandhu was awarded the Julio Puri Medal in the World Peace Council. On the night of 15 August 1975, a group of ambitious fighters killed Sheikh Mujibur Rahman and his family. His daughter Sheikh Rehana and Sheikh Hasina were survived to live outside the country. In 2004, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was considered the greatest Bengali of the millennium. in the poll by the BBC Bangla Radio Service